I'm here with Patrick Chan of Team Canada after a, a very good long program. Not per, me, not per, not perfect. <laughs> yeah. And you know, maybe the score isn't gonna isn't gonna get you right up there at the top where you, where you've been in the past, and yet you're here smiling. Yeah. Talk about what that means to you to be able to accomplish both of those things. I mean, that the quad sao in the program was better than my toes, and that's my newest quad that I've been trying to work on this year. So. That was my goal coming into this event, was to attempt all three quads, rotate them, um, stay on my feet, not let my butt touch the ice, and I think I did pretty well in, in that challenge. Um, of course, I achieved my goals at maybe 80 for 85 percent mm -hmm. capacity mm -hmm. instead of maybe 100 percent, right. which is necessary today with all the men's yeah. how they're skating. Yeah. So I'm, I'm happy with my personal achievements. Yeah, and, and as you've sort of talked about a little bit now, you're 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 an underdog. Yes, I am now, yeah. And and you're chasing, but does that give you sort of a sense of relief in knowing that you got nothing to lose? Absolutely. You're going out there and, and you and you can try a new quad, yep. you can try things to push yourself in preparation for the Olympic season yep. to get ready for what's gonna be a dog fight. Figures the exciting part about figure skating is that it's unpredictable. Every event you never know what can happen. Some good things and bad things will happen. So if you can stay in the mix of the top guys, top five men, uh, you have a chance to, to win it all, right? So uh, maybe that'll happen at the Olympics, maybe that'll happen at Worlds or Grand Prix Final, but all I can do is keep challenging myself yeah. with that sense of relief, yes, that, that pressure kind of off my shoulders now, not being at the top spot all the time. So I get to have fun uh, yeah. while I'm at it. And, and I think uh, in... The, the sense that you are able to enjoy yourself out mm -hmm. on the ice. I, I think that definitely, you know, you're, you're fighting, you're, you're mm -hmm. trying, but at the same time, you're still, you're still you. And, yeah. and that's what so many of your fans appreciate about you, so many skating fans. Yeah. Talk, talk about what it means to be able to, to bring that kind of um, excitement into the fans' lives who, you know, without yeah. them, we, don't, we, don't, we have nothing. I mean, I've been doing competing at this level or skating, just skating for... 20 years now so <laughs> I gotta find a way to enjoy it because yeah. it gets real tough and and, and frustrating yeah. so if I can be in the change room with Javi and Nathan and laugh and, and just have a good time before the six minute warm up then I already am enjoying the process more than I ever have before yeah. so that's my challenge and my my goal yeah. actually other than of course the being on the ice part, but yeah. I want to have fun and enjoy the process because it's not going to last much longer. Yeah, well, we're certainly enjoying the process watching you. It's thanks, it's Charlie. it's always a pleasure. Thanks for thanks for stopping by and talking Thank with you. us, yeah. and, and and best of luck as you get ready for for next year. Thanks, Charlie.